joys and be glad in it. Amen. I try and say it hurt my ball, but the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. Amen. We go to the Lord in prayer. But uh, Charles, you got to work? Yeah. Come on, bro. The Lord told, told me to ask you, you got a word. So I'm going to follow the instruction and get out the way. Praise the Lord. God is somebody. Oh, yes, he is. And he is worthy to be praised. Oh, yes, yes, he is. is. Let's give him a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, the beautiful thing about serving God is he's always on time. Amen. He don't never miss. No, sir. And that's the beautiful thing about it all. But I'm going to be receptive. I'm going to let you do the message, Pastor. Huh? Uh -huh. You preach it. I what? You go. Go what? Uh, and preach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I did I did my part. <laughs> <laughs> so don't get it. I did my work. You did your part. I did my part. I, I, I don't get in no trouble. <laughs> you got a word of the day? Amen. We're going to go to the Lord and proud. Gracious Father, we come and push you throne of grace. Through your son Jesus. Because we know the way to come. First of all, we just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for your loving kindness, your mercy. Thank you for your goodness and your stretched out hand to deliver and let the captives go free, Lord. Lord, we pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding concerning your word this morning, God. Help us, God, that we don't take anything away from your word, that we are right to guide your word by your spirit and by your great power. We ask in the name of Jesus, O oh God. And God, we're thanking for that. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. We pray for the president and those on authority, Lord, Republican, Democrats, Lord. Let it be peace in the White House. Let it be peace in our house. Those who are not saved in that White House will be saved. Those who are not saved in our house, Lord, that you're saved. A special pride, man, for Brother Marvin, Lord. Amen. Bless God. He takes me, Lord, for pride, man. Bless God. Be with him, God. A special pride. You know what you have need of. Raise them up, Lord. Amen. For your honor, your glory, Lord. Let your power flow through his body like a river. In Jesus' name, we ask of God. And God, we are thankful for it. Lord, we pray for those that man that's on their way, Lord. We bind every human spirit, every demon, every devil. Amen. That's trying to hinder them from getting here or trying to hinder this service. Amen. And to be bound in heaven. You say we're bound in heaven on earth, we're binding in heaven, Lord. Whatever we loose on earth, amen, be loose in heaven. We loose your spirit, amen, upon this service. In Jesus' name, those are the sick in their bodies, Lord. Omicron, monkey pots, uh, handwriting is on the wall, Lord. Amen, the disease, amen, is coming upon this nation, God. Throughout all the world, God. Amen, the things that you're doing, Lord. Hurricane, tornadoes, floods, Lord. Fires, Lord, smoke. Smoke, amen, Lord, have mercy. They smoked up the city, Lord. Couldn't even breathe. Lord, have mercy on our souls, oh God. And we'll come back to you. In Jesus' name. Pray for that backslide, that son of man, that woman, that child. Out and walk the street. No place to go, God. Give them a mind that want to be saved. Give them a mind that want to stay saved. And a place to live. In Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand, God, to you. So the guys in the car we have, uh, I thought maybe they were going to travel again. And she's been a while. It's good to have them back in the house of the Lord again. Amen. Amen and amen. We're going to deal with a subject. I got this at 5.30 this morning. Hot off the press. Amen. That's it. It's still smoking. Amen. Thank My you, Lord. Jesus. God, just give me groceries and I'll... I was glad to let another brother go forward. Amen. Even with the groceries I just got. 
Uh, what things I need from God? That's a question I ask myself. What things? Yeah, we all change. What things I need from God? Y'all need to stop and think about that. What things you need? Amen. From God. I mean, make it personal. Amen. Because we're going to find it is in the Word that tells us what we can have from God. So here's what I wrote down. First thing I need from God is His Word. Why oh, yeah, do I think I've chosen His Word? Amen. It's going to tell me what I do. See, how am I going to know what I need if I don't know the Word? How I know what to ask for if I don't know what His Word says? Because he uh, answered it according to his will. That's how he, he that's how he answered prayer according to his will. So when it, I pray something and I know what his word says, I can pray his word. I can speak his word. I can live by his word if I got the word. So I said, okay, Lord, the first thing that came in my mind. It had a lot of other things came after that. But without the word, I wouldn't know what the other things could be. I wouldn't know about his love. I wouldn't know about his mercy. I wrote down at the bottom here, I wouldn't know about his forgiveness. I wouldn't know about his, uh, uh, his fruits or his gifts. Unless I got the word. The word. The word. The word is very important. You're going to see how important it is. Come with me to page 775. Page 775 to Psalms 138 and 2. 138 and 2. Page 775. I will worship toward thy holy temple. Praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above what? All thy name. Now notice. He magnified his word. I said, okay, then I said, I really, really need to know the word before I know anything else, because then I can know about eternal life, how I can get it. I can know how I can get saved through the what? Through the word. I asked you, go for it. And as a matter of fact, how are you going to preach unless he be sent? Faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So when I get the word of God in me, then I know how my faith just keeps going. It don't go down. It's when I cut the word off, it goes down. Give all that God for the life. For the best you've been in the house. Thank God for That's God. It's always good to see our brother. Uh, brother Matthew, Matt, you're on page 775. We're dealing with, amen, the word. And we just got to read uh, Psalm 138 and 2 that he magnified his word above all his names. So he has got, he has more than one name. He got Jehovah Jireh, God of Supply. Jehovah Jireh. Oh, I thought you said something else. I'm sorry. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Leave it alone. Amen. That's some other words get in that ear. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Get, get rid of those guys. We don't want them around here. So the enemy will give us some words too. So that's why we need to know the word. Because he talked to us. So if I know the word says that I can't be deceived by the other voices that I hear. The Bible says that many voices went out into the world. Many of them. I, I Google one time how many religions it has in the world. Folk died. Now, can you imagine 4,000 people talking to you? That's a lot of people. Let me get back here. Let me get back here. And come with me now to uh, page 884. That's Isaiah 55 and 6. Page 884. So we need to know the word with all the folks talking. Yes, sir. 4,000 talking to you at one time. Right. And so the guys are really here and some things. And I didn't say nothing to her about that. That's why I should want to know, make sure I said that. I don't blame it because I'm sure it probably wasn't good. 
It ain't that big. I, <laughs> that was me. Quote to Sister Gallon, uh, somebody else. Y'all better be careful who y'all listening to. Make sure it's lined up with the word. With the word. Amen. So Isaiah, amen, 25 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So the Bible teaches us through the word to seek after God. How am I going to do that? I'm going to seek after <laughs> You seek after through the word. And then it's going to teach you how to pray. Going to teach you how to pray, how to worship. Don't all come to the word. So once you understand that this word is very important that you got to have, it's kind of like the food. Can you do without food? No. Why not? Try to live without the, our food, without water. It ain't gonna happen. You'll die. So try to live without the word. You'll die spiritually. Because you have to have the word to live and then be fed. Your soul. Your soul has to be fed. Amen. Your physical body has to eat. Look at that seventh verse. Let the wicked forsake his ways. Now, I don't see how preachers pass up all these wicked scriptures and sinful scriptures to the word. Yeah, I was just trying to find out. Now, if I want to just give you smooth stuff, I would have left out now. That's first. I gave you somewhere you can shout. Well, I don't want you shouting you're living with me. Yeah. It's going to help you out. No. Because no. look what you tell me to do. Forsake that. The word taught me that. So, what I'm dealing with wickedness, i got to know what wickedness is. It comes through breaking the law. The law of God. It says, sin is going to increase. The love of many going to rise cold. What caused sin to increase is breaking the law. Okay. When you break the law of God, your sin increases in your life. But it says, those that endure to the end, the same is going to be saved. So I got to go all the way to the end with this, and who's going to help me with it? Jesus. Jesus. And the what? And the word. All we all do today. Jesus and the word is going to help me. Amen. To go through. So now, since I got Jesus and the Word, now I know how to live. Amen. I know how to pray. I know how to praise God. I know how to worship God. I know how to fact. I know how to call on Because the Word taught me. Mm -hmm. I didn't learn this on my own. I had to go to the Word to be taught. It, I'm sorry, it said, that son let the wicked forsake his way, the unrighteous man his thought, and let him return unto what? Well, wait a minute, I thought it was with the law. You yes, tell me I got to return? Yes, sir. I must have done something wrong. I, I didn't know I did it, because I had no word. word to show me what I did wrong. So once I get the word of God to show me, I know how to return. I didn't know that I was on the left still somewhere. Right, right. I thought me and God had something going on. Uh -oh. When he tell me to return, I thought I, thought I left you. And I know you left me. I know you're still with me. They return to the Lord, and he would have what? Mercy. All right, so I know I need his mercy. Why? Because the word told me I need his mercy. You know, I call out his love. I call out the son. I call out his mercy. But great, I need his. Mercy. what I need from God. See. But now, what I need. Uh oh, we're going to go somewhere with this here now. Will I need mercy if I never left? I never, I never backslid. Would I need mercy? No. So what mercy is for? To keep me following you all around. 
See, I got to know what I need from God. So that way I know how to pray. I know what to ask for because I every desire for something I, I don't need. I need to know what to ask for by the way my life is. What I'm short of. And I can learn that through the Word. Amen. All right, so now I'm thinking like he thinks. I'm changing my ways. I'll go to nightclubs no more. All right. Because that's where the devil was at. He was meeting me over there. Mm -hmm. Then he had me gone over there. But now I done changed fathers. He's my stepfather. Yeah. I got a new father now because I've been born again. Right. Jesus Christ said, except you be born again, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. A lot of people try to get in the kingdom of God and he's been born again. He ain't going to go there. Could have got the word. Tell me this ain't over there. There's where uh, number three on uh, Psalms 23, then the uh, verse three comes in for he restores your soul and leads you in the path of righteousness. Amen. He does for us. He will restore your soul. Where you, you got that from? On Psalms 23 in the word. For she got it from the word. Yeah. So she learned how to get a soul what? Restored. Restored. So that's why we need a word from God. Because once we get the word from him, he teaches us how our soul can be restored. All right, now I know how to get my soul returned if when I go back to God, he's going to restore. He's going to fix my soul up. Soul is messed up. Now he's going to fix it back. For that's his earth. name's sake. Well, who? For his name's sake. That's it. Not mine. <laughs> Not ours, but Jesus. <laughs> That's good. That's good, God. With his name said. Hey, they get a lot of that exile for the word. Look at that word. The guy said, right. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and return not better, but watered the earth, and making it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So now you're going to give me an example about the rain, he going and it's that same with his word is. That's right. His water. That's right. So shall my word be that going out of my water? No. So if I don't have the word, I know where the word came out of his mouth. But now since I'm in the word, I might be not this word. All right. I learned some things this morning that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I have read that before. I remember how the child I read this, I never saw it. Yeah. So don't let the devil deceive you because you can quote a few scriptures. Amen. And talk about you don't need to study no more. Huh. You need to study that word all the way to the end. Amen. All the way to the what? Amen. All the way to the end, you need to be in that word. So that way you're increasing your knowledge and understanding of God, who he is. All right, now you learn it, amen, uh, what his word can do, how powerful it is. Right, right. And so shall my word go out of my mouth, it shall not return to me what? Lord. It comes back more. What does it come out of my mouth? So now I'm in the word, I'm in, the, in his word given in me, and what's in me going to come out of my mouth. All right. Now I can give the word to his people. All right. Because it ain't my word. Either you can accept it or reject it. It reminds me of Psalms 119 and 11. It said, I worry if I hid my heart that I might not sin against you. I got the evidence to keep me from going or going against you. Yeah, because the word tells you what sin is. Yes. And that's good, Brother Charles. And I got that down on page. <coughs> His word is in our hearts so that we don't want to go against you. We don't want to sin against him. So if I got knowledge of his commandments and laws and statutes, can I sin against him? If you don't comply by it. If I don't go by it, if I go against him, I won't sin. So that's why it's important to have his word in us. Amen. So when we go through our trial, test is going to come. Well, you don't have tests and trial. Oh, yeah. It, you know, ain't nobody deal with that. So you're going to be tested. Oh, yeah. Yeah, every day we 
tested by somebody, something or somebody. <laughs> he tells the truth. That's what he said. But as rain coming down and, and, and see, uh, let them go. So she said, my word that goes out of my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish it which I please, and I, it shall prosper the thing whereunto I send it. So what God sent his word, is he sent his word this morning? Oh, yeah. David said, my foot almost slipped until yeah. I went into the house of the Lord. Yeah. Then I found out what was going to happen at the end. He was watching the people out there having fun. Yeah. Partying, drinking, cutting up, acting crazy. Yeah. And they was prospering. Oh, boy, they, you know, of course, they didn't have no uh, wonders all dark like the back then. But today we got some dark wonders. <laughs> and the boom, boom was going up and down. The car going up and down. Look like they have a lot of fun. And they got plenty of money, got big houses, nice cars, women everywhere. Maybe back where you're living in those. I won't follow them. Because the world told me what's going to happen to them at the end. Yeah. The wealth Lay of the wicked up. is laid up for the righteous, for the church. So all that money you got out there, you better hurry up and repent. Get right with God because you can't take it with you. And lose your soul over something that ain't going to last. Mm -hmm. No bribes and no uh, buying. Uh, <laughs> you can't bribe with that money and you can't buy anything with that money. No. They said you're going to throw the silver and gold in the streets because they ain't going to be worth nothing yeah. on the day of the Lord. When the Lord comes, all that money, they can't buy it. The license, you can't buy your way to heaven with that money. Amen. The money going to talk against you. Because you got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know money can talk. Money can talk. Yeah, money can talk. The Bible yeah. says money, money flies away. It's it right. got wings. You got to call it back. That's the word of God. It flies yeah. away. Call it back. It all has to be. Tell that money come back to you. Back to money, Black. come back to me Black. now in Black. Jesus' name. Black. I'm going to let it keep flying. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Oh, let me get back with it, Lord. Oh, bless his name. Uh, Twelve heard. Uh, for you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you and do sing. Y'all got that? Mm -hmm. When the mountain and hills see you coming, they're going to be singing. And y'all ain't gonna be able to hear unless God opens your spiritual ears mm -hmm. to hear the mountain singing because they see you. Lord, that mercy God. I don't know what kind of song they're singing. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all the trees of the field shall what? Y'all ever seen the trees clap their hands? Yeah, they clap their hands every time they move. Ain't that something? Yeah. But what if God opened your ears and hear them clapping? Oh, oh they're going to be all in. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. You'll be clapping right there with them. Oh, yeah. You look at that tree now, y'all. hear a bunch of noise coming out of there. Lord, they're clapping their hands. That's you, by the stand of the throne should come up. Fire trees, and instead of fire shall come up murder trees, and it, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign, and it shall not be cut off. So one time you didn't have all that going on in your life, now God is turning it around. Amen. Through His Word. He did that through His Word. Mm -hmm. And His Word ain't coming back for He spoke it. <clears throat> That's going to happen for you. That's when you walk up right before him, return back to him. You got great benefits. Come with me down to page 754, Psalms 103. 754. Psalms 103 and 19. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens. And his kingdom ruled over all. Mm -hmm. Now, notice 
that 19 verse is thrown is in the heavens. Is that one heaven or more than one? It just said heaven. So how many heavens they got? Huh? Three. The heavens of heavens and of heavens cannot contain God. When you go and study, you find out there's three heavens. You can see the first one with your eyes. You see the furnace with your eyes, because the fur the furnace that you're looking outside is the first heaven. Mm -hmm. Then above that is the clouds. That's the second heaven. And you can't see that third heaven unless you open your eyes spiritually. Yeah. That part you can't see. Because the scripture says that when Stephen was being stoned, yeah. he saw the heavens open. And Jesus what? Standing on the right hand of God. Yeah. I said, Oh, that mercy. Who, who, who let him see the third heaven? That's God. God don't want to get open your eyes treasure to see the third heaven. Yeah. That's what he had in the third heaven. Mm -hmm. So the heavens cannot contain him. Right. That kind of big God. The heavens are the throne, that's what he said all. And the earth is the footstool. Y'all got a push through that home? Some of y'all? Yeah. And, and, and then, can you imagine God using his earth as his foot? Oh, you got a big foot. Yes, sir. That's a big God. He's a big God. Oh, he's a big God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can go somewhere. And then he can come to me and then he can come to me and come inside and then her. <laughs> With a big God like that? Amen. Oh, he ain't nothing he can't do. Yeah. You just got to believe this. That's it. Oh, you got to believe it. Don't try to figure it out with your mind because your mind can't contain that. Mm -hmm. You only have to what? Some things you got to believe God you for. Believe. Your intellect cannot understand that. Yes, sir. You have to have a spiritual mind to understand something like that, that God can do. Thank you, Lord. And now it all down that God can what? He can do, he can do it. Do it. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in what? Strength. In strength. And do his commandment, hearken unto the voice of what? His word. Hey, they ain't going to hearken to your voice. They're hearkening to the voice of God. So if his word is in your mouth, the angels are hearkening to you. Because of what? Word the word of God coming out your mouth. Right. I hope y'all caught that. The mission and go and come. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. When you know what to do. And how to use your word out your mouth. Amen. God's word. Amen. I said, well, sure, that's all. Awesome. And they do his what? Commandments. I hope y'all catching that. What about the one that's breaking his commandments? What happened to them? They got some angels broke his commandment. Yeah. Hey, what happened to them? They kicked out. They got thrown out. Now they want to fool with us if they want us to act like them. I act like them no more. Like I used to act like them. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Look at my God. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his what? Host. What host he talking about? That's angels. Yes. He's going back to the angels in that verse. Bless the Lord, all his host, that's all his angels. Yes, you what? Minister. Who is his minister? His angels, his people. And what? Let's see what 21. Let's see. 103 and 21. That's you. Huh? That's you. That's who? That's you. You're a servant. That's me? That's the one that's I'm a what? A servant. I'm a servant. That's the minister and the servant. The one that's serving God. Yeah. That's his, that's his minister. Yeah. And he said he made his minister as five in the book of Hebrews. Yeah. The first chapter. He made us as what? Five. He wanted to burn it. Is I wish you were hot or cold. I want to stay hot. In the name of Jesus. And if you cold, I'm going to melt you. Because I'm going to stay hot. Amen. Thank you, Lukewarm. Yeah, you can't be lukewarm. You, 
what are you going to do with your belly? Choke. Just you out of his mouth. I'll show you where you're hiding in cold. See, cold will put you when you're in the world. You're cold. I like that. Yeah. It's as cold as you can be. And you shake yourself like something and ain't got no more power. Move around with the devil. Man said, he had that through his what? His pleasure. So God takes pleasure in his ministers that do what his word said. Well, and, and, and obey his Lord. He takes pleasure in that. When Jesus Christ was baptized, he was baptized because of his sin. He was baptized because that's what his father wanted. Give all that God for us. Amen. She didn't have to cry. And sister, pray for us too to be on time. On what? On time, on time, on time. And God, who you serve? Amen. I'm making me a little song there. Uh, so uh, we're on page 754, uh, and we're on uh, 20, 21st. 21st verse. We dealt, we dealt uh, on pleasing God. How you please Him is keeping His commandment and obeying His voice. All right, so I got that from the Word. So I'm out of please God. You know that last part of that scripture, the 21, coincides with Romans 8, 28. Romans 8, 28. Read that, Dr. Chuck. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are be taught according to his purpose. Yes. Yeah. So he has a purpose. Yeah. That was his So purpose. how can I know his purpose? You must know his word. <laughs> I got to know what his word is to find out what his purpose is for my life. And then you got to do the same. Because the purpose that God calls you to do is to be different from my purpose. Mm -hmm. Do he call us all to do the same purpose? He says some, some are apostles, some are prophets, yeah. some teachers. Some manager. So he didn't call us all to do the same thing. Now, some of us can work in a five four minute. Mm -hmm. Can one person work in five four minutes? Yes. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen you before. Uh, I've been at, at family life. I've been out on the street, uh, in a jail, uh, nursing homes. And, Lord, have mercy, God. One day I, I was praying and said, Lord, help me settle down. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that I'm going to The Lord can have you operating in a lot of a lot of gifts. Mm -hmm. But who's going to get the glory? Yeah. Much is given. He's going to require more out of you because he gave you more. That makes sense to me. If he gives you more, you're going to require more. Yeah. You, he gave you put that in you. That's right. That's right. That's why he gets the glory. Amen. So then I gotta I gotta find out what pleases him, so I'll find out that and, and there's another scripture that Jesus Christ when he was baptized, he said, This is my beloved son in whom I am well. So it pleases his father to obey his voice. Thank you. To go be baptized. So I'm finding out what pleases God is when I obey his voice through his word. Mm -hmm. So when I got his word, I know how to do what his word says, because I got knowledge of it. Right. My people perish. Right. So we ain't lacking knowledge here. We're going to be full of knowledge, because we're going to give you the word to build up your knowledge. Put mm -hmm. the right. Bless the Lord all his works and all praise and dominion. Bless the Lord what? So wake up in there. Yeah. You got to tell your soul the time it goes to sleep. Wake up in there and bless the Lord. Yeah. Lord, that blessed God. Hallelujah. Oh, some of us woke already. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come with me now to Isaiah 40 and 1. That's page 867. 867.
Isaiah 41. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, said your God. So God want to comfort us with his word. Yeah. Speak ye comfortable to Jerusalem and cry unto her that here warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she had received the Lord hand double of what? Now, she got double for that. Now he want to what? Comfort her. All right, so if I got the word, then I don't have to first get whipped before I get and blessed. Uh, we're going to go over this morning. I can be comfort the whole time. Amen. Amen. Because I got the word to show me how to stay that way. How the Lord gonna comfort me if I stay this way? Right, right. My cry is, Lord, help me to see it and obey it before I do wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So that way I won't have to catch no whipping, and then you have to show me mercy. Then I got to repent. Then I got to ask you to forgive me. Yeah. But Lord, help me before. Right. So I won't sin against you. If I don't sin against you, I don't have to repent. You get more blessing. I stay in the blessing. Yeah. I don't get whipped. Then get it back. Ain't that something? So what you, what things you need from God mm -hmm. is what. We 
he's still preaching repentance today. You see? Got to somebody out there doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. Got to preach against sin. Got to preach against sin if you want to get saved from it. That's right. But this is he that was spoken of by the prophet who that is? As Isaiah. As Isaiah. Now notice how the King James spelled that. Did he spell it right? Hey, for that he didn't spell King James didn't spell that word wrong. Oh, yeah, okay, that's what I caught this morning. Okay. I haven't read that I don't know how many times, but I never saw a King James spell Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah start with an I. S A I A H. I thought you spelled Isaiah. Think how they spell it. E S A I A S. They spell it wrong. Sometimes I spell wrong, pronounce the word wrong. But the word corrects me. Amen. Y'all yeah, see that Isaiah? Mm -hmm. In your Bible? Is yeah. it spell right? No. no. Hey, spell right. See, I don't care who he is. He be King James, uh, NIV. I don't care what his name is. If you ain't right, you just ain't right. Mm -hmm. Let's get it right. Okay, the prophet Isaiah saying, the voice of the word crying in the will of the path, ye the way of the Lord, make straight, make this path straight. So that was Isaiah prophesied that. Now we've gone here in the book of Matthew to find out it's been done. All right, so then I might, uh, 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 <laughs> we're going to see that uh, it was prophesied also that Elijah was going to come. Right. Did he come? Then he came. How he came? Through John. Huh? Put it through John. Through John. That is a gift. You must know some over there. That's a gift in there. That prophet is fulfilled through John. And we're going to find it in the scripture. You're the one calling out. The word told us that. Yeah. Now, if I had not known or studied the word, I wouldn't be able to tell you. The Bible said a preacher is the first partaker of the fruit. He eats it first yes, sir. before you eat it. After he gets through eating, now he's able to deliver it. Because he ate the food first. Y'all ever seen a cook never taste their food? Yeah. You cook and don't taste your food? I cook and I taste it. Before thee, that was prophesied. Amen. Bless God. 
11 verse, that I said to you among them that are born of woman that had not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. The one that is least in the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. is greater than John. But the John the Baptist on earth is greater than the God in the history of the earth. Yeah. Except Jesus Christ. But the one in heaven is great. Amen. Said Charles the Baptist. So, I got that from the word. Forever. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven is sort of violent and a violent world. Don't get back for him. So you got to get violent in this time. Because the kingdom of heaven is sort of violent. But the violence, that's you, that's me, we got to take it by what? Four. Because the Lord gave us power and authority over all the worship of the devil. All his work. All right. Don't let the devil fool you. You got power and authority over all his work. Jesus gave it to you. Right. It's in the word. It's in the word. He gave it to the believers. I believe, Lord. But he went out for to see a prophet. Yea, I say unto you, and more than that prophet. Talking about John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. He's a prophet. All right. Thank you, Sister Kim. 13, right. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you receive it, this is what? Elijah. Elijah, which for to come. Jesus Christ says, this is Elijah. So, here's what God did. Boy, this thing's gone this morning. He took the spirit of Elijah and put it in who? John. In John. Can yeah. God do that? Yes, he can. He sure can. That's what he did. Yeah. And if he can take his spirit and put it in you, yeah. I'm talking about God. Yes, Get him in God. Right. God can't be limited. You can't put him in the box and bust out of there. Too big of a God to put that put him in the box. <laughs> so God took the spirit of Elijah because it was prophesied that Elijah must come. Yeah. But they didn't know until yeah. Jesus told them mm -hmm. in the word. You ain't gonna know nothing until you get in the word. Right. I don't know where you're gonna know. He that had ears to hear, let him what? Y'all yeah. got some ears? Y'all yeah. need to be listening. The what the Lord is saying here this morning in the Word and how we can learn a lot through the Word. Come with me to Luke 1 and 11, page 1207. Page 1207. Luke 1 and 11. And there appeared to him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Fear not. Because you know, he's supposed to be the only one in, 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 in the uh, house of God. He ain't supposed to have nobody in there with him. So if y'all in the house and then somebody else show up, Make sure that's God's angel, not the fallen angel. Amen. Which angel? God. That's angel. All right, what I can do with the fallen angel if he show up in my house? Rebuke him. Oh, we can get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I let him stay in your house. You can get rid of that angel. Mm -hmm. Rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Put some blood on him. See how long he said in your house. Lord bless you, heavenly Lord. Uh, <laughs> Fear not, Zachariah, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, as the 13th verse, and I shall call him name, his name what? No. Now, no, he's not called Elijah. No. 
His name is John, but he has the spirit of Elijah. That's right. That's where he was born. Yeah. Thank God, somebody. He great God. I go with God, too great for God. And I'm telling you, I'm still learning. I've been in the Bible 46 years, and I'm still learning. The more I study, the more I learn. Yeah, you're going to learn more. Pastor, this saying right here that he has the spirit of Elijah, that was where people started talking about the reincarnation, correct? Because God, they say God can reincarnate uh, humans, like when you're born, you're born with the spirit of well, I don't an ancestor or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't deal with that. But where you got where you heard, heard where of, you heard that one from? Uh, ancestors. Huh? <laughs> Generations. 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 Well, they, they probably got some teach that, but I don't, you know, I don't teach reincarnation. Uh, reincarnation. Uh, the Indians do that a lot too. Yeah. Indians believe a lot in the reincarnation of their people, and. Uh, yeah. that's, that's a that's another. Mexican people, that's, uh, from that's Mexico. That's a teaching come from another religion. Yeah. 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 You know, we've heard, you know, that you look, or we have Twins. seen pictures of some of our ancestors and we look exactly like an uncle or, or you know, a dad, you know, my dad or something, you know, yeah. someone like that. Uh, I have a nephew that my sister sent me pictures, you know, baby, I'm mean, not pictures, pictures of him being one to two years old. And, and I said, well, you know, why is she sending me pictures of him, you know, this, this young? I had already had pictures of him. And it turned out, she told me, she goes, that's not, Joe. we call him Baby Joe. That's not Baby Joe, that's his son. And I mean, he looked exactly like Well, you're going like to like look like him, you're going to look like because you come from that, but that's not, that's not No, 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 it's not real. Now, they can teach that kind of stuff, but we don't teach Yeah, no, no. Because you're, gonna look, you're supposed to look like you. You're yeah, but isn't it also to do with I mean, it's, oh, that's what I look just like. Oh, that girl is just like me. I got a girl just like me. DNA, bloodline. Uh, God did it. Who did it? God. God did it. It's going to happen like that. <coughs> that's God. That's the way God created by you. That way you can tell that person is yours sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no denying it. <laughs> you know, I have, I have looked in the mirror sometimes, you know, and it, it just, you know, caught me. You know, by surprise, and I had to look again in the mirror because I thought I was seeing my dad as I was passing by. Yeah, you know, I, look, and it's just I look like like my mother on my mother's side, and then then uh, my brother we look we look like twins sometimes. They thought I was my brother, my brother, they thought my brother was me. So you gonna have that? That's yeah. where God did that. Yeah. Like that, like so it said DNA, yeah. like the DNA. And then you got got a, got a money don't look like neither one of y'all. Yeah, I mean, want to check that out. Let me get over here. All right, let's get back at the note. 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 Get a lot of hands, guys, man. Bless God. Thank God for the word. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we, we know that you have to jump from somewhere else. All right, man. Uh, then we're going to look at uh, where we stopped at. Oh, his name's John. Let's go to 14 verse. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. Fifteen five. It shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and it shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from the what? That was spoken. The angel of God spoke that he would be filled with the Holy Ghost in his mother's womb, and you're going to see the angel also spoke that he's going to come in the spirit of the Lord. Scripture. Yeah. I knew about what Jesus Christ spoke about, but then I didn't know the scripture about Jesus. So you're going to learn more as you go on in the life. You're going to have Paul, uh, Brother uh, uh, Charles said, You're going to grow in this. Yeah. You grow. Good. God could, if, what did God give to you all at one time? What happened to your little brain? You're going to be slow. You blow up. Your little brain is going to grow about you. You can't handle that. It's too much. It's too deep stuff. It got some stuff in that pretty deep. So he gives you a little bit at a time. 
And you ain't gonna get it all in one place. No. Cause here we'll look where we're at in Luke, get stuff out. About what the angel said about John. Mm -hmm. It was in the book of Matthew, what Jesus said. Uh, now in the book of Luke, get more mm -hmm. information about John. Right. Through the what? Through the word. Through the word. And many of the children, that's the uh, 16 verse, of Israel should be turned to the Lord their God. Now, it's, it's a lot of them turn to God because of the preaching. John preached, repenting, getting right. And he received Jesus Christ when he came on the scene, preparing the way of the Lord. So he was getting the way of the Lord prepared for them to receive Jesus. To repent. Amen. And then he can receive Jesus. Seventy five. And he shall be go before him in the spirit of the power. What? Right. Right. Oh, his own response. Now he's gone in the spirit of power and delight. This is angel, amen, telling Zachariah, call his name John, but he's going to come in the spirit of Elijah. Because God's going to do this. And he's going to be filled with the Holy Ghost in his mother's womb. Yeah. He ain't got to repent. Nothing. He ain't got to be baptized. Why all this happened? Because the word is spoken. Yes, right. God spoke it with his word. Yeah. When God speaks up with his word, he'll bring it to pass. Right. That's the power of God. Mm -hmm. In the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the father and the children and the disobedience to the wisdom of the just. Who is the just? To the wisdom of the judge, he's talking about to Jesus. He's the justice. Right. And that's where our wisdom is going to come from, from Jesus. Jesus is going to teach us, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, when you study that, he teaches who he is, he teaches who the Father is, he teaches about the Holy Ghost. You get all your teaching from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and that way you can't be confused about who he is. Some folks believe that he, some folks believe he's just a prophet. Yeah, he's more than a prophet. Amen. He's my savior. <laughs> so you got some people who don't believe certain things about Jesus that you're going to find out is more to you. Because you got more knowledge of him. The more knowledge you get of Jesus, the more you know what you got in Christ. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, you just say that. Uh, the angel revealed to him of who he was going to be. And it's the same with John knowing that when Mary told Elizabeth that she was also carrying a child, he leaped in joy because he knew that he was Jesus. Yeah, as a baby. As a baby. Inside the womb. And inside the womb. <laughs> so now the, the, spirit, and the spirit now in us reveals on who he is also and no one else. Right. Amen. By the Spirit. And by the Spirit. So then, in, in that case, in that term, when somebody else tries to give us something else that is not of the Word, we can turn around and say, no, no, no. You know, when they say, well, we believe in the same Jesus, but we believe that, that this is, you know, the prophet Jesus. No, no, we don't believe in the same Jesus. No. You don't believe in the same Jesus. Okay. I don't believe in because now you got the word in you. Amen. Amen. Because the Spirit took you and guided you in the sum of the truth. All Amen. the truth. All the truth. All the truth. I'll do it. 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 i or they believe something different than what he's saying. You're going to know that through the word. Because the word, gonna, the spirit going to guide you in what? All, All the, the truth. That's how you're going to know the truth. Yes, and once you free. get the truth, the truth makes you free. Make you free. Or set you free. I don't know what translation you read. Just go through it. So you take the truth of God's word. That's how you study it. The truth of God's word. And can you 
stay saved? Before you know the truth? Ain't no way to backslide. Because you know how to fight. You know how to use the armor of God. You know how to use all his arm. And you're not going to let no devil pull you down in the sin. And then if you, if you get sick, you're going to go out or you're going to seek God to find out what you're putting in your mouth first. But what you're putting in your word first. The Lord, show me what I need. I, I mean, I'm sure. Ain't that wrong with you? Because every time I get healed, I get sick again. So I've got to be doing something wrong here, Lord. What am I eating? Let's get, let's get right down to the nitty gritty of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, God said if he was hungry, he wouldn't tell us. You mean to eat pork? <laughs> Why don't we eat no pork? Because <laughs> in the Genesis, he tells you not to eat that. That's right. It raises your blood pressure up. <laughs> Yeah, there's no pork ready to be left fresh. That's why you take the pill and knock it back down. Well, I don't, I don't be on no blood pressure medicine. I don't take medicine. I don't take medicine because a sick need a physician. That's the word. Jesus Christ told me that. My physician is Jesus in my mouth like something ain't good. So now I got to go to Jesus. Now, brother, you got to have her. Herman, Herman got to eat yesterday, and he got to eat some stuff that wasn't good. And I had to go to prayer. I said, Lord, you got to have him. So then I went and made me a smoothie. <laughs> I made it what? Because I ate that. I ate the sausage. I could have laid in barbecue some food. I ate some barbecue sauces, uh, barbecue, uh, 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 what that thing is? It had some pork in it. Oh, Herman, I know you, it tastes good, but you're doing something wrong. How do you know you're doing something wrong? Because I got knowledge of the body, as well as I got knowledge of the soul. I studied both sides. Now, y'all do what y'all want. I studied both sides of this one. And I knew Herman, I let him get some stuff he was supposed to be putting in his mouth, but it was good. It was yummy, yummy to his stomach, stomach. But it's going to cost him something later. It's going to cause him high blood pressure. Now he got to get it back down. I'm not going to get it down. I just don't want to get it up. <laughs> I got to stop him what? Get it up! I don't know how to get it down. And I told him, I don't feel good. I don't know if it's my sugar that went down or my blood pressure that went up. He said, but I just don't feel good. Well, we left from the restaurant. He was taking me home. As we were walking outside, I put on my shades because it was sunny. And I couldn't see. Everything was blurry. So then I told him, you know what? Don't take me home. Take me to the emergency room because I can't see. Everything's blurry, and I kept, you know, picking my shades up, and everything was blurry. It was white. That's how I should have. Yeah, that was good. Uh -uh. What? It, it was my blood pressure. It had I gone down. It had gone down to forty-nine, right? Fifty-two. Forty-nine. So what caused the shoe up? They. The only thing they they uh, came out and said that I had a UTI. Who? A bladder infection. Bladder infection. Uh, here, here's the thing that you have to understand about it. About it. There's some cause that. Yeah, in fact. There's some, some you put in your mouth. 
called the bride and said, it went in his mouth to get there. Bride and station just don't happen by chance. It's got to be something you did. Uh, I mean, that day was like. You drank was, coffee? No. No. She coffee can cause that. So here's what you have to do. You have to Google find out what causes, and I guarantee you, you can find out what you did wrong yourself. By getting knowledge <coughs> of what you put in that pile that caused the bad yeah. Well, they turned around and they told Edward that it's a good thing he didn't take me home. That he took me to the emergency. So, yeah, you didn't eat that. that. You didn't eat nothing where you was at. Well, yeah, I ate. But it was um, basically the same stuff that I eat all the time, which yeah, was but seafood. See, the bowel infection was the problem. And when you ate it, it shot it up. It caused more problems. So you can feed a bladder infection. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's what you did. You fed it. But you don't know which food caused it to trigger it, yeah. to, make it to make it go up. I'm not a doctor, but I got a lot of knowledge about the body. And they turned oh, told him that you be surprised at how much knowledge I got about this physical body. And I'm still alive. He took me to the emergency room. Thank God for that. Because they told him that if I, we would have gone home, and I would have gone to sleep, I would not have woken up. No, that's being that high. It's no, low. It's that low. It was low. The bottom number has to be at least in the eight. What, what, I thought it was, it was top number 49 was over 52. Oh, I thought he said 400. Not, 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 I thought he said 409. 149. No, it was 49 over 49. Oh, it's 49. 49. Yeah. Over 52. It was God. low. It, they Indeed. gave me two IVs. You're a, walk, you're a walking miracle. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And it's a good thing because we're going home. Because he said, well, let's go home. So we're going to go home, and that's exactly what I was going to do. Go lay down, you know, see what yeah. was up. And you wouldn't have got back up at that low. Yeah. Yeah, that's, so, that's, that's, yeah, I want you to do something, God. I want you to do some homework on that for me. I want you to find out what caused, what food caused, and then I want you to do a homework on yourself and see what you did. It's something that you did to cause that. All right, then when you went out to eat, then you need to find out what foods, once you uh, lower the blood pressure, Lord, and it's going to give you that information. If you put it in there, like I'm telling you, or if it don't work out, put it in another way. I did another way. And it's going to give you the information which you did wrong. Yeah, you can question what was it that would, what would cause your blood pressure to, to drop yeah. with a blood infection? Yeah. What food? You got to put in there. What food to do that? Mm -hmm. okay, you want to put what food? Because you're dealing with food. Right. It, all, it all simulates for food. Well, that's what we've been doing all these past three weeks. That's all I've been doing is uh, two week test, test, test. Yes. And that's why I'm all boosted up because <laughs> they've been uh, sending me to lab uh, work. Test, test, test your shit that you were sister God was doing. And I asked the Lord to show you, and he's going to show you. Yes, he's going to give you that knowledge, and it's going to come from word. You get word from knowledge about your physical body. You get word from knowledge in the spiritual realm. Yeah. So notice that we're dealing with what? With the word. Mm -hmm. So words are very important that we have knowledge of. Mm -hmm. Both mm -hmm. spiritually mm -hmm. and what? Physically. 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 So I thank God and man for the word to help me to know how to take care of myself. Spiritually, as well as naturally, because yeah. you're not all spirit. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll do that today. See, because because that, and then you take medication too. Don't you take medication? Yeah. Where well, some foods you can't eat. But it's the same. With medication. I mean, I'm gonna Google it and, and research it and all, but it was the same stuff that I eat all the time. The same stuff that yeah. I've been eating. Over a year. Well, you ain't sweet 16 no more either. <laughs> you done tore that body down and now you think you still can eat that stuff. Yeah. That's where you get the seed at. I, I can hit you with that if you want me to hit you right but now. It's a small portion. I, I, I can take out time enough to hit you with that. Mm -hmm. Your physical body, through the years, you tear down your. Uh, all this was 
with certain food, you tear down your immune system with certain food, and your cells. You got 30 million cells in your body. Can you believe that? Yeah. 30 million cells in your body. And, and food builds up the good cells, and that food tear down the bad cells. That's why you got cancer cells. Cancer cells come from food, or what you do, stress. It comes from a lot of different things. So you have to learn what causes it to you. That's what I teach over here all the time. That we the problem. Yeah. Now you can come in the pride line and get pride. Praise for you. You go back doing wrong again, what's gonna happen? Go uh oh! oh Facebook, we're out of time. <laughs> Amen. We're out of time. Get the word in you. And and learn about some foods you eating.